Hello all and welcome to episode 3 of Jay Carlo Racing's Formula V series. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can find your own Formula V project for less than $10,000 and why you would choose Formula V as compared to other entry-level wheel-to-wheel racing series such as Spec Miata or Spec E30. So firstly, I'm going to show you where you can find a Formula V car if that's what you're looking to do. And the best place to do that is going to be apexspeed.com. As you can see on the screen right now, I'm scrolling through the various forums that Apex Speed has, and they have forums available for Formula V, Formula 4, Formula 500, most Formula car uh, series, Formula Mazda, have a forum on Apex Speed. But the Formula V forum is what we're going to be focusing on today. As you can see, there's a general discussion section, a cars classified, and a parts classified, each of which are very, very helpful if you're looking to get into Formula V racing, especially that general discussion section where you're able to find technical information from other Formula V drivers and how they solved their own issues with their cars. But for our purposes, we're going to be looking at the cars for sale section. Now, I've already opened up a few links so I can show you examples of the types of cars that are posted on Apex Speed. But first I want to show you how I organize the forum so I can find the cars that are still for sale easiest. I go down and I sort by the date of the thread creation or thread start time. I found that that's the best way to avoid looking through posts that were made in 2013 or 2014 or looking at sold cars already. Once you organize it that way, you'll see there are lots of cars available and lots of cars that were posted within the last few months. The first ad that I'm going to show you is this one down here, Caldwell D13 Roller Slash Project. And the reason I'm showing you that ad is because it's the advertisement for my car before I bought it. As you can see, it says sold there at the top, but uh, this is the advertisement I saw when I was looking for my Formula V car. It said that it needed the belts replaced, a new battery, rebuild the masters, all things that I uh, addressed in the past episode. Uh, this advertisement stated that the car was a roller because at the time the engine was separate from the vehicle. However, I did ultimately package it with the engine that the seller had listed and was able to get a pretty good deal on the two of them together. So I purchased my car and engine in total for $6,300. I bought this car in particular because it already had a tall man's hoop installed, which was being necessary for me to fit in the car, being that I am six foot four. So you have to consider what type of factors are important for you when you're searching for a car, and then look for those things when you're searching through these forums. Now the next car that I'm going to show you is one that's also listed on Apex Speed, and it's another D13 this time listed as an Autodynamics D13, but it is the same car as a Caldwell D13, the car that I have. Now this one is listed as a roller, but a package with an engine and various parts, similar to the package that I purchased when I got my car. And in total, it's listed for $7,500. So that's a really solid deal for someone to get a, a nice car, a good engine, and be able to go out and start racing with just a little bit of uh, man hours uh, turning a wrench. So this is just a photo of the car, as you can see, almost identical except for a paint job to my Caldwell D13. And this could be yours for $7,500. That's just one option that's for sale right now as we're filming this episode on Apex Speed. Another option that on filming has not been marked as sold yet is this Dart Formula V that is listed on Apex Speed with a trailer package for $7,000. Now the ad states that the car only needs a battery and a switch to be up and running and that it comes with a small Formula V trailer 
with brand new trailer tires. You will probably not find a better deal for a Formula V car anywhere. I mean, this is a running car with a trailer that you're going to have ready to go wheel to wheel racing for $7,000. This trailer is going to be small enough that you're going to be able to tow it behind your commuter car, just like I was saying before. So that's a huge, huge benefit in not having to go out and buy a car trailer or buy a truck so that you can get your race car to the track. Uh, one thing to note about this car is that it is not for a big driver. The ad states that it can only fit a driver up to 5 foot 10 as compared to mine here with the tall man's hoop, and that's why I ultimately chose my car as compared to this Dart Formula V that you saw listed there. Now another amazing place to find Formula V cars is the Formula V Racing USA Facebook group. In that group, under the topic session, there is a for sale topic where the admins compile all relevant Formula V listings that they can find on the internet, including links to cars that are listed on Apex Speed. But this one right here, for example, is an $8,500 turnkey 1967 Zinc C4 Formula V car that you could buy with the engine for $8,500 or for $5,500 as a roller. Here you see the Autodynamics D13, which we just looked at an Apex speed listing for. It's also listed on the Formula V USA group, as well as other cars that are for sale from groups like Bigger Hammer Racing and other Formula V drivers that have listed their cars on Facebook. The Facebook group is a great place to find cars on Apex speed and cars on Facebook and cars on Craigslist, all compiled into one location. So I highly recommend you look there first, after looking at Apex Speed, of course, when looking for a Formula V car. I'd like to take a quick break from this episode right now to shout out our sponsor, Triple J Property Maintenance. Triple J offers general property maintenance, including weekly and bi-weekly mowing, spring and fall cleanups, plowing, hardscaping, patios, fences, land clearing, driveway installs, driveway repairs, and so much more. They're located in Milan, New York, but offer services throughout Dutchess and Columbia counties. So if you own a home in the area, be sure to reach out to Triple J Property Maintenance and they'll be there for you. Now, back to the episode. Now, if you're not already convinced to buy yourself a Formula V car right now, I'm going to go over why you would choose Formula V over other forms of entry-level motorsports such as Spec Miata, Spec E30, Spec 944, or other amateur wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing series. And the main reason for me is trailering and ease of transport. Now if I were to buy a Spec Miata or a Spec E30, most likely I would also need to own a truck and a car trailer so that I could get the car to and from the track. Most wheel-to-wheel -wheel race cars are not able to be titled for street driving, although some Spec Miatas are and some Spec E30s are, so for those people, kudos to you. But for most people, you're not going to be able to trailer your race car to the track unless you have a truck and a car trailer. That's not the case with Formula V. My Formula V car weighs around a thousand pounds, and the aluminum trailer that I have to tow it, which is smaller than a car trailer, it's just a standard aluminum utility trailer, weighs about 600 pounds. So in total, my towing weight car and trailer is 1600 pounds. Add a few sets of wheels, your tools, gas, other things, and you're looking at about 2000 pounds of towing weight that's usually able to be towed behind whatever your daily driver or your commuter car is. Most modern sedans, 
hatchbacks, crossovers, and SUVs have at least 3,500 pound towing capacity, which means that you can use your daily driver to get your Formula V car to and from the track. And that is huge savings if you don't already own a truck and a trailer, or you don't want to rent a truck and a trailer every time you need to get your race car to the track. But even if you do own a truck and a trailer, and you're just considering the entry costs or the buy-in costs, Formula V still ends up being cheaper. Now this right here is the cheapest spec Miata that I could find on racingjunk.com, another great website for finding used race cars and track vehicles. Now $10,000 for a spec Miata that is theoretically speaking running and driving and ready to go is a pretty good price for one of these cars. But you do have to think about the fact that no matter what, you're going to need a truck and trailer. Now here's an E30 BMW prepared for wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing for $7,500. This car could be a great spec Miata candidate. You may need to do a few updates to get it up to spec, but $7,500 is a great cost for the car. But you're going to need a truck and a trailer. Here's a race-winning spec E30 for $18,500. Much more expensive on initial entry, and you're going to need a truck and trailer, and the car is probably going to be then on par with other spec E30 cars. Here is a spec 994 that you could use for NASA or SCCA, or even for Porsche Club of America, which makes the Porsche an ideal option. But still, $12,000 is more money than most entry-level Formula V cars that you're going to find, and you're still going to need a truck and a trailer to get yourself to the track whenever you want to use that car. Now here's a great deal. $8,000 for a Fiat X19 H-Prod car. I have to admit this car is quite appealing, being that it's rear engine, it probably handles amazing, it's quite prepared, I think it only needs a few more things before it's ready to run, so this would be a great option. But once again, you will need a truck and a trailer. I hope this video has helped you learn a little bit better where you could buy a Formula V car if you're interested in getting into Formula V racing, and why you might consider Formula V over some of the other low-cost alternatives, such as Spec Miata, or Spec E30, or Spec 944, or some of the production classes in wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. This is just why I decided to race Formula V. I don't have a truck, and I didn't own a car trailer before I purchased my car, so this was the best situation under my circumstances. I needed a car with a tall man's hoop, so that's why I bought the car that I bought, as compared to a different Formula V car that may have been listed for less or in a closer area. Ultimately, you have to consider your circumstances and what fits best your needs, and that's how you'll come to the decision on what Formula V car you want to buy. Once again, I really hope this video helped. If you're considering getting into Formula V, please like and subscribe so you can follow along with future videos and updates on my Formula V car, which I'm currently preparing to bring to driver's school and get racing in the 2022 Challenge Cup series. I want to thank you all so much for coming on to the end, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.